Hello everyone, welcome back to The Gaming Flow and in this video we're going to talk about how to fix COD Warzone 2 or Modern Warfare 2 is having high CPU usage and low CPU usage error which is happening for many of the users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about we can try with the basic step that is all about we need to run the game as an administrator. For this we just need to go over here right click and go to properties go to install it files just click on the browse now you'll be getting the folder over here which state that is uh, this particular one is the installation folder if you check at the top that is this pc local disk d program file x86 steam steam apps common call of duty hq and if you scroll down, you can see this particular fold uh, application. So right click and go to show more options and go to properties and compatibility and go for run this program as an administrator and go for OK. And once you set this up, just close this and go back and try to launch the game. If this is not working, we have to move to the next one. That is all about we have, we have to use a dedicated graphics card to run the game. For this, we just need to go over here go to graphics settings just search for graphics settings <clears throat> now from here you can see i have already added the game so if you're adding the game for the first time just click on the browse now go to this pc go to local disk d uh, sorry c program file x86 go to steam now from here go to steam apps now from here go to common and now from here we have to find call of duty hq so just add this so it is already added so it's already added so just go to call of duty uh, due to HQ now go to options now this will be let windows by default change this to high performance and go for save once you save this just close this and go back and try launching the game next one is nothing but we have to update the GPU that is quite important for this just go over here right click and go to device manager now from here we have to go to display and adapters right click over here and go for update driver search automatically drivers and once you search automatically drivers just close this and go back and try launching the game once again next one is nothing but we have to try with close unnecessary things which is running in the background for many users this is what most of the time issue ending up so just go over here in the start right click and go to task manager now from here as you can see there are many things running in the background so all these things are causing the issue so you just need to make sure that there are 32 apps are running in the background and all those things are training out the performance which I'm having these kind of crashing and all these kind of low and high CPU usage issues. So I have to remove unwanted things from here. And once you remove unwanted things from here, just close everything and go back and try to launch the game. Next one, we have to go for verify integrity of game file. So just go over here in the game, right click and go to properties. Now from here, go to install it files and just go go for verify integrity of game file once verify integrity of game file is successfully done you have to close this and once it's done you just need to open the game once again so verify integrity of game file fix actually a lot of issues such as if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this particular steps you just need to close this and try to launch the game next one is nothing but we have to update the cod so if you're having any kind of update, just update the Call of Duty, Modern Warfare or Warzone, just update it. And also make sure you have to set a change over here in the settings. Just right click and go to properties, go to updates and always keep this game updated should be selected. You should be selecting this particular one. Always keep this game should be selected. And once you close this and try launching the game. Next one is nothing but we have to disable the overlays, especially Steam overlay for this. We just need to go over here and right click and go to properties now from here we have to do is just go over here and make sure this is i mean you have to disable this and if it is turned on you have to delete uh, disable this once it's been disabled if it is turn on disable and once after that try launch the game after this for many users they should it fix it and you can try the few more steps that's including performing a clean boot so this i found from the reddit so just go over here search for system configuration just click on it now from here go to services go for disable all and you have to go for hide all microsoft services go for apply and go for okay it's gonna ask you for restart so i'm here in the middle of videos i'm going for for exit without restart so you have to do so watching this go for restart once restart is done just go back and try launch the game 
next one is all about we have to reinstall the game that is a uh, quite simple as it is and did it work at free users so you can try this out go over here right click and go to manage and install the game but keep in mind when you're reinstalling it back you should not be installing back on the same game i mean you should not be installing back on the same local disk try changing the position of local disk you can change from c to d so i'm having only one so i'm installing everything over here but if you're having multiple local disk change the ins uh, local disk from the uninstalled one to a new one and that did work it for many users and also you can parallelly make sure such as you have to make sure that uh, the graphics card is up to date for this you have to go over here i'll be providing link in the description so if you go over here you have to give all the details if you're on the nvidia and you'll be getting the patch versions updated here that 536.67 is actually a released version so you can download this one install and restart the pc and if you're on the amd i'll be providing the same link in the description so you can select everything graphics graphics card every details and go for submit now from here you have to go to windows 11 if you're on windows 11 or windows 10 if you're on windows 10 download install and restart the pc and try launch the game last and the least one is we have to disable the full screen optimization for this just go over here and right click and go to properties go to installed files and go for browse now you'll be getting this particular folder so just maximize this go to the application main application and right click and go to show more options and go to properties compatibility and go for disable full screen optimization should be if it is done you have to disable it if this selected you have to disable it and you have mean you have to select this and go for apply and go for okay and once it's been done just go back and try launch the game and this is what you have to do so these are the possible workaround which can be done and i hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notifications see you soon in the next video peace out bye bye